Hello people, uh, Brian here from, hello everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. <clears throat> Today uh, I will say I've made a pseudo discovery. A lot of people come to me and ask me how to get screeners, uh, market screeners, because it's a new, well, it's a very popular way to trade, to get performance on what to trade and the performance of it. I do it with my crypto, works awesome, I'll just let it be known. So to do this in Python is tough and also to do it blog here called that quantlabs.net slash blog called uh, no fin supposed to be viz api no IK feed on linux so only bar chart may do so i have to take a large assumption there's no api for get some very powerful information but is it useful uh i don't know now i've been using IK feed for a long time okay and I love IkeyFeed. Uh, supports all the native popular languages out there, be it Java, C Sharp, I think C++, some good um, native solution for that. So I have no other choice but to look at a provider that I've discovered that I was already looking into. Um, so that's a no-go there for the Premier. Uh, also, they have a pretty good section on uh, here in the FAQ for um, bar chart API so in there you can kind of play with the uh, bar chart stuff and um, that's through the API you can get it for free it does li it is limited all I gotta do is just sign up there to get started it's kind of confusing how they provide that just so you know I'm not a shill here for them I'm just showing you what I've done to get screeners as a solution for market data and it's for, I believe, this one access to this one API. Let me see if I can find it here. Uh, bum, 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 right here. So this here, and all the links are available on my blog post that I just highlighted there. So this right here, you have access to pricing data, crypto data, which you can get, obviously, through an exchange anyways. This is the one I'm really interested in, okay, is leaderboard and, and lists. So in there... This is what you want, this get leaders, okay? So when you look at this, okay, um, there's different options that you can send over as parameters or in arguments. C, uh, and I can't remember the other one. Let's see here. Yeah, so XML. So let's look at just the simple one of, of um, JSON, okay? So in here, you can specify what type of data, what asset class. So if you say stock and which exchange, NYSC, uh, here you can say hot. Like what are the hot ones? Now, I don't know what those are defined by, by bar chart, but I'm sure in their API documentation, there's better, more parameters there. Um, max records at 30. Um, so here is the parameters you get back. If you are like me looking for screeners, you get obviously the last price to change. Price percent price percent change. Okay, so that right there is your one that you want as a potential as a potential metric that will show that which I just noticed here is the um, industry sub industry, which is really good. I find because um, it helps you tell you if you are watching stocks that uh, you can uh, use the sector as is it a defense play in a bad market like what we have now so that's always a good option so you can see here this is very 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 useful you also get back the volume okay and the previous volume now I, I don't do I don't go deep into the stock market arena, but um, if you are able to, basically, um, I think period is number of days, and then um, if you're able to, maybe in here the argument be able to filter out only bring back stocks with uh, penny stocks things like that. But again, you, you can you can just specifically list 
uh, which exchange. So if you're just interested in NASDAQ and there's an update to it, so you have all these different languages, PHP, ASP, Perl, but Python as well. Okay, so this is what you pass. They do have their own uh, package now. I can walk you through that. Um, it's called On Demand. So here, depending upon if you have a free or a, a paid version, you're gonna change your endpoint. I can show you that uh, in, in a bit too. And then of course you pass out, a uh, pass over your, um, your key that you can get for free by going through that uh, sign up process here. So that's pretty powerful. And then you can add in your other uh, parameters as well. Those I don't know, but I just wanted to show you that this is confirmed to work. Uh, so you have all these different languages also including Ruby, right? So you have all of these available to you. Now, coming back to here under, um, yeah, here. so right here, uh, under uh, on-demand API. So this is the on-demand Python package that they have. So again, if you go under Python here, That'll take you to GitHub, and this will take you to um, a place where you can set up the package and download the GitHub repository. And I'll walk you through here how to uh, set up the package, let's say if it's in Python, and be able to work with it with some demo uh, code here. And don't forget, there's no breakdown on the get leader or the leader, um, but I did play with it and, it and as I said it works so you just see so the other thing is they have a commodity data API and um, I'm not sure what this this will involve because um, I'll, I'll show you a trick on bar chart if you go to um, I'll just go over to so Bing or something and if I type in bar chart if you're a futures trader or a options trader, you can get most active futures. Okay, so this is kind of like an online, an on this tab here, and you, you get the full view of what's trading uh, by volume on top of the percent move. move. So as you can see here, um, these are the futures uh, contracts. And this will tell you what's moving by volume, and that's what you want to trade, obviously, if, you, if you're a futures or an options trader. So that's just a trick out there. So let me just go back to our commodity. So I'm not sure if you're going to get, uh, it doesn't look like you'll be able to get those sort of, uh, those sort of um, data points for like what the leader is in the futures as I show in the, in the stock. So, and again, you have examples for Java, JavaScript, PHP, Python, and MATLAB. So that's pretty, pretty good. Now, over at my blog, um, where's my blog? Right here. So, again, for those on the podcast, no fin, vic, viz, API, no IQ feed on Linux, so only bar chart may do. So, as I said, with a bar chart, uh, we have a couple of tips here I can give in this article. Um, so I've talked about most of this, but some of the other other things here is I've talked about this guy right here, this get leader function. Here's what it returns. Okay, if you're if you're in a screening, this is what you want: get price percentage. Now I don't. I guess that's based upon your period. If it's one day. Price net change may also help you, and also if you're into standard deviation, it will help you. Okay, so that's what you want right here. Is this one right there? That's the most leader. And again, you can get more samples and stuff out of that. There's some examples here, uh, as I showed. Uh, this example in Python. Uh, this is, I think this is old, okay? This doesn't seem to want to work. This guy right here. Also, as I said, you need to pay attention to your end client, your client, your um, uh, endpoint, because uh, it's gonna it's gonna be different from this for a free account. Okay, for when you use the API, which is for free, 
that's going to throw an exception in there. I don't know why they would do that, but that's maybe to test you, your ability of programming or diagnosis. I don't know why, just whatever. Um, so there's that. So another thing is, if you wanted to, just as an example, going into Python here, and you see this package here called SUDS, apparently I don't think that's listed anymore on all the package repositories for Python. So in my article, uh, I've put up um, a hint there. This one right here. Uh, there's a use where you can do a pip install with this one right here. SUDS suds jerko. Now this guy right here, um, as you can see, and this works as well. So this is what the error you'll get if you try to install this SUDS. So the answer was you got to use this one and that, that installed fine using pip or pip3, whatever you're using. So there's that. Uh, what else can I highlight here? Yeah, so that's pretty well it. Okay, so pitch, 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 right? So this could be overwhelming for a lot of people, um, depending upon your ability. I have my store here at quantlabs.shop. Like, I'm, I'm more and more looking and using Python 3. Um, because it just has less restrictions and it's lighter weight versus a platform. So I'm gonna be putting more content into this um, outside what's listed here at the quantlabs.shop. Just look for the Python 3 logo under catalog. Um, so I'm gonna increase that price there. Um, and also, if you're really struggling with the whole thing, Eventually, I'll have a signaling service with Interactive Brokers, Quant, Quant Analytics. Uh, that will do that. It covers also the current crypto. And I uh, just want to highlight here, this right here, the TWS, Trader Workstation for Interactive Brokers, fully works. It's pretty good, actually. And I went through the entire application. It's the same on whatever operating system you are, Windows, Mac, Linux. This right here is a fantastic operating system. I've talked to a few users of TWS and Interactive Brokers over the last number of years. They say just in the last year to two years, in a very sophisticated way, you can also do retail Forex, but you need 20K for that. So this is a really, really good broker. So as I've said before in past videos, I see no reason to go to other brokers uh, just do the fact that submitting ID and all the new year customer and all that and they get hacked I, I want to eliminate that as much as possible but with Trader Workstation or Interactive Brokers there's just one application and depending upon the size of your account you can pretty well trade all the major instruments okay so I just want to put that out there one thing also with my other screener I looked at, and if you get either any of these books here, it'll cover it, which piece of software I mentioned there. In there, um, I used it, and it came back with a few um, ETFs, I believe, which they probably are listed as ETFs, so they're iShares for a variety of different segments. So if you've seen my... Um, videos using the MotoWave for looking at the global markets and ana analytics, you will find that I probably won't be a fan of stocks uh, directly. Um, but I will say that uh, indices look better, so that's ETFs, mm -hmm. but I do know and I've confirmed lately that there is a, uh, I think it's a $5 surcharge on top of the, the dollar for the commission fee from Interactive Brokers and you have to pay another five bucks per trade to trade an ETF. So that might not be doable. Other thing is, um, I've talked to a couple of traders today, and I like I like to trade lucrative things. Like you've seen the moves in in um, in the stock mark or in, in, in Bitcoin lately, how it's just mushroomed. I've talked to two very, very seasoned traders that are on the interactive brokers and uh, they're trading equity st equity options. So I'm, I'm gonna start kinda looking into that and um, because that, that's very lucrative. Uh, if you see something move, then you got the option side. Um, 
that's something else to venture into. I find also if you're in the futures that futures is very, very restrictive because of the margin requirement. And unless you have a large account, um, I'll say 5,000, 20,000, which is theoretically a, a, a tiny account to more well-off traders, it's gonna be a struggle when you're starting out coming from my case, the crypto space, moving into interactive brokers and trying to get into futures. So not sure which way to go, but um, the stock the stock looks pretty good. Um, but again, depending upon the size of the stock, um, you know, there's, there's, there's things that we gotta consider based upon the size of the stock for people as well. And that's gonna be another determinant, but it's all gonna go through intera interactive brokers one way or another on tra Trader Workstation. And also, um, if you're interested in the interactive brokers in a big way, and you're into this stuff hardcore, what I do, I've got the Elite membership. In there I have a, um, an interactive brokers course that goes into detail showcasing uh, the gateway instead of using Trader Workstation so you can eliminate the uh, problem of uh, when TWS shuts down a quarter to 12 midnight um, and shuts down for 15 minutes. They do this for a reason. I cover that and show examples of source code uh, working in Linux using the, um, the the gateway so you can eliminate that. And it's better actually to go through the gateway anyways because it's faster. Um, you'll still get all the information through the TWS, but you'll be able to trade, as I said, around 11.45 to midnight your local time to get around that. So there's an example. So you can easily uh, figure a way to get around that by using a uh, pricing engine. Well, it's not really a pricing engine, but it's just a, a way to feed the prices and the orders via C++ into, into, uh, T, uh, into the gateway at uh, IB. So there's all those options. So if you want that, just again, go over to the quantlabs.shop to cover that. Cause it's got five courses and it's all useful for everything I've been doing for the last little while. So anyways, I'm gonna shut up, but right now to, to, to discover this with bar chart, um, the Python and be able to, as I said, be able to showcase uh, this data here is a big deal. Um, this one, the price percent change. Um, and again, with uh, interactive brokers, you do get data for free if you have an account over 2000 US. So that might be an option as well. Um, and this can get eventually replaced by just using interactive brokers itself. Um, I've kind of played with it. I'm not seeing it working. Um, actually, I can put up a tip on that. If you go into my blog, I posted this yesterday and actually highlighted it. Again, I'm just only blabbing on beyond to do that. But what will happen is I walk you through it. The problem is, is um, it will throw an exception right here. So it says you must subscribe for additional permissions to, uh, to obtain precise results for the scanner. So you have your top percent losers, real time a market data and here's all the exchanges you have so that is possible to do but you got to have the 2k uh, US in your account so that is doable outside of a piece of software I've tried where it becomes kind of useless uh, and and it's just well yeah it'd be kind of useless the software is great but because of the data provider it's not the, the best um, so there's that um, in terms of different options. I think IKFE has a screen already on Linux. I'm very happy with that. So I'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching. Have yourselves a good day.